these are some very badly worn synchro hubs from the mini gearbox all these uh, bright polished surfaces are all rounded off these are the, the dogs that engage in the, the dogs on the gears uh, I have a another one here that is much better condition the sharper dogs so I'll need to assemble these hubs the synchro hubs have got sets of three springs and balls that engage in the inner track there's a groove around the inner track there and held in considerable tension if you push the inner too far the balls and springs fly out with some velocity and uh, are usually lost forever uh, it's quite difficult to assemble them uh, manually if you're just uh, trying to push three separate balls in and springs and uh, getting everything aligned can be very very tricky but there is a tool for that this is a special assembly tool the inner let's see if I can show this the inner part of it with the, the holes for the springs and balls you align with a little cutouts uh, first of all you put the springs in drop it in drop the springs or the balls on the end of the springs and then rotate it uh, against this ramp there's a little ramp in here that ramp then compresses the the ball and spring until it's all the way in so when it's sitting about that position you then take the the outer it has its uh, cutouts it aligned with the cutouts on the other half uh, you get them aligned you flip it upside down and so push push the inner through until it locks in place that's the theory anyway <laughs> the other thing to remember when you're assembling these is to put them the right way around because the inner has got a, a projection on one side and a, a recess on the other the projection goes on the side that projects furthest on the outer you see the that's offset this way so the projection comes out this side I'm sure it goes back in there somewhere yeah. so when it's uh, finished it should look like that that's the that's the other gear that's the first and second gear with the reverse uh, tooth on it so again there's a little projection on this side and almost flush on that side. So again, it goes to the side with the largest projection. Just click that one back in before I accidentally lose all the balls. So that's one of the worn ones. That's the other worn one. And I have two they need to assemble. That's the third and fourth gear synchromesh hub, and that's the first and second synchromesh hub. And the, the tool. And I have a bag of balls and springs. <laughs> I bought plenty in case I lose some. Right, let's get some springs. One, two. Three springs and three balls. So, first thing we do is put in three springs and line up the springs, line the springs up with the little cutouts. One ball in there, one ball in there, and one ball in there. We need 
to push them down a wee bit. So get them started and then turn it. That's it. Right, they're all compressed. Now that's the projection side, that's the projection side. So it should go in that way. If we line out line up the cutouts, cut ups, cutouts lined up, flip it over and push. And there we have it. All assembled. Very simple. This is the second one I need to do. One, two, three. Three balls. Okay, and again, this is the side with the projection. If I put in three springs, three springs, line the springs up with the cutouts, little cutout there, springs lined up. Drop a ball into each cutout and then feed the, the ball, just start it into the, the hole and then we should be able to rotate against the, the ramps and that's them holding in place. So cutouts that way, the projections on this side. Line up the, the cutout here. There's a missing couple of, or there's, um, there's a missing slot in each of these three positions that you line up with the cutout there, and then flip it over, and and then simply press forward. Why is it not going in? <laughs> I've got something misaligned here. Two, no, it looks lined. That's it, just need a bit more force. Yep, that's working. So that's one of the good ones. <laughs> that's one of the good ones. That's one of the very badly worn ones. And that's one of the very badly worn ones. It's a very handy tool. It saves you trying to push three things in with lots of fingers and pushing. Synchro hub across into first gear. See that's uh, second gear over there. And that's that across into second gear. Synchro hub is slid across. And that's first gear there. And you get similar with the I haven't got the, uh, the pickup pipe bolted in yet, but uh, let's see if we can take it out of that gear. Blank. That's across into fourth gear. 
sink the hub is slid across and we can get it back into third. I don't have a gear lever attached so it makes it kind of tricky. And that's it across into third. Yes, I haven't bolted in the central oil pickup pipe yet. So it's got all new straight cut gears in it. So that's your first motion input shaft. Uh, here are we. That's your third gear. Second gear, first gear. And then you've got the reverse gear below that comes across and plays on that one. And you've got your pinion for your differential on the back. I've had to knock down all the tabs on the, the lock nut here because with this special gear change that we've got that's turned at right angles to the original version, the, the nut on the end of the selector uh, fills on the, the lock tab if you don't uh, mash it down. <laughs> Yes, this has a, a special gear change that comes in through the left-hand side cover. There's a, a bracket bolts on here that uh, takes a mini engine mount and then uses the, the gear linkage levers acting with a, a ball and socket there and a, a claw on that part. This, this engine, or this gearbox is used on a, uh, a Terrapin hill climb car where the gear change comes down the left hand side of the car. The driving position is uh, as set up for a left hand drive. The alternative with these things is to take a gear change underneath the, the engine and gearbox but uh, that's never very successful. This was originally uh, a remote type gearbox that was used on the early Cooper S's and such like, uh, as opposed to the later rod change gearbox. So all I've got to do to the front is put on the the bearing that goes on here that runs in the the flywheel housing and the idler gear that goes up to the the primary gear on the crankshaft. These are again these are straight cut uh, drops on this.